all the designers at Hager Design in Norway have developed a really interesting and efficient way of displaying parts of a design to clients to good effect and I'd like to share that with you. You will notice that if we look at the design I'm in model space now there's a red box drawn around various parts of the design. Some are in landscape view and some are in portrait view. So here's a, here's a zone, let's call them a zone, zone 07 and if I move to a layout called zone 07 and if I select the floating viewport and try that again I want to look at the viewport layers and as we scroll down through here you may be able to see that as we move down certain layers have been turned off just for this particular viewport that enables good control over what's displayed in this particular layout or zone as it has been called. Well let's zoom extents now and take a look at the page. There's a title block down in the corner with client job name and location. It's an abbreviated title block, doesn't dominate this particular um, zone layout. I think if I can select the floating viewport again it has a fixed scale of 1 to 25. In Australia one is not able to use scale of 125. We're forced to match the Australian drafting standard 1 to 20 and then 1 to 50 but this looks fine so it's a fixed scale in this environment. Notice also that the smart label tool has been used in uh, in this environment the GCAD plus smart label and to indicate this particular symbol in here there's a count six of them this is all done automatically by just picking the six instances of that symbol and the smart label tool will pop that in so all of the plants through here have been tagged to elements in the attached GCP file. Let's just have a quick look at the GCP file and there it is. There, All symbols used in the drawing have been tagged. The other thing that has been done is despite there being, let's go back to the model, and despite there being, I think it's over here, a conventional plant list, that plant list has been exported to Excel. Let's go back to the zone again and there is the Excel data. So it's been exported to Excel, um, changed around just a little bit and brought back into this environment. Now the print, the, the resolution if you like of the Excel spreadsheet um, plant schedule doesn't look great at this stage but what I'm going to do now is to print this design to a high quality PDF writer. We'll use Qt PDF and we'll just see what the output looks like. Well there's our design in uh, Acrobat Reader. Um, let's zoom this out and I'll go Control zero so we see the whole page. It prints very nicely and can be sent to the client as part of a PDF package. Let's zoom in just to check the resolution of the entries in that um, plant schedule that's come out of GCAD Plus into Excel and then back again. I'm quite happy with that as a high resolution print of this Zone 7 in this complex design. So I hope you can see that they've developed a really neat technique for gathering together a whole lot of drawings or prints from parts of the drawing is going to be very useful as a communication device to go to the client. When you're looking here at a slight variation if I set the floating viewport now and check over here in the properties box you can see that's a view scale of 50 rather than previously at 25. What that means if we dive back into model space we can cover a larger area of course at a scale of 
1 to 50. Let's go back to displaying on the layout and we've included a different screen grab from the Excel sheet and we've put some information on a title block and uh, added a scale or scale bar and you'll notice that that scale bar there comes from model space and it's at, a, at the same view scale of 50. So the detail is being included on the sheet. This says scale 1 to 50 at A3 but there's also a measure within the drawing itself. So I think it's a very flexible and interesting approach to presenting information to clients.